yeah, I improved my weapons a bit, you know, since I gained a couple levels through some stuff. Uh, yeah, now I think we're, let's see, yeah, I think we're ready to go in there now. Okay, this place is really small, well, the mansion itself is really small. Um, I definitely suggest, you know, there's rooms on either side, and there's lots of nice items to get. And let's look through the keyhole. You get a golden bell, mm, holy book. It's good to see you, Kylin. Have you changed your mind and decided to join us? Blah. No way! How could I be one of you? My life and family were torn apart because of you. She has a point there. Oh, don't act tough now. If you're obedient, you and I can have a wonderful life together. So he's Russian? Mice! Isn't that Kyleen? No shit. He tore apart her life and family? Who is that scumbag anyway? Probably Levantis, what she's been talking about since yesterday. Mice, let's save Kyleen. I was planning on doing that. Kyleen, is that? Yeah, of course I am. So now we got all smug. Everything I got. I can always grind and get it later. I can always grind and stuff. Oh shit. Okay, so I didn't see that coming. Are you okay, Kyleen? I wish I could fall for you feet and actually say ouch at the end of it. No, I'm not okay. Untie me already. Fine. That does not sound like rope. See what happens when you help others? You are so stupid. You the one who was tied up. Why would you even think about trading money for a person? Why did you do this for me? Because I believe in slavery, so money using for people is always on the table. I don't know what you have in mind, but your sweet talk doesn't convince me. I can always go and grind and get some more money. Look into my eyes. Well, alright. I guess I was wrong about you. Well, that was a change of heart real quick. So how are we going to get out of here? Thanks for the exposition! Yeah, that's what we were trying to do. Well, it's not really that much of a trap door since it's like right there. Okay, this area you definitely want to try to get everything in here. There's uh, some clothing that you're gonna get for uh, Nelsha. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm gonna show you like some of the crazy things that actually, some of the crazy enemies that are actually in this game. Yeah, these enemies are just pretty straightforward. Um, as I was saying, in the mansion you can get a gold bell, a holy book, a revive, some lapis earrings, a speed bracer, and I gave that to mice. A geo bottle, some facial tissue, which is not really a great uh, item to have. I mean, it's not, it's an okay item, it's a nice gift to give for certain people, but you know, the last thing you want to do. Um, you also want to check around here for there's the toy horse, some cute earrings, which are a good present, um, fancy ribbon. The nurse costume for uh, Nelsha, and the silver choker, which you have to get to get out of here. See, yeah, see, once you're here, you get the silver choker, 
that will lower the uh, job and uh, that will lower the stairs and that allows you to get out And we have uh, made it. So we appear right outside the door. And uh, I, of course I went and I uh, adjusted my weapons and now we're ready to fight Levantis. The hell? Hmm, impressive. How did you manage to escape? Through the trap door. When good people work together, they can overcome any challenge. Hey, you tell him, Musa. So that's the way I escaped. <laughs> people have no heart. Well, even if they do, it's nothing compared to the power of money. <laughs> money. <laughs> money is everything. <laughs> Definitely if you have guild toss. What's the matter? <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying? You are so foolish! You don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Behold the power of my money! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's weird. Let's try, people. Now we get the Bell Levantis. Okay, I was able to give everybody a evade spell, so that should be helpful. Yeah, we're gonna do this him staying standard boss strategy. Heal on the reserve. Well, start out with might guts. And he has two attacks. Well he has three attacks. His punch attack, which you just saw. He has his uh chest shotgun, which only hits the front row person. Then he has a blast which hits everybody. So they hit hard, but you should be able if you're you should be able to actually handle it. Of course, I'm assuming that you pretty much fought nearly every battle that you've gone into. Yeah. Where do you think you're going? There on now we gotta hit going down him with some twister blade. Yeah, you're almost dead now, huh? Fill up real quick. Cause he, I think he might get ready for his uh, area attack spell. Well, area attack ability. Ah, yep, there he is. See, it hits kind of hard, but she able to handle it. And with that. Multi strike. Fall, bitch. Down with communism. Do some level ups. And we got Blunt Sword. I can't remember what the Blunt Sword is used for. I'll tell you guys later. Do 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 do. We get the cable car key. Yeah, we didn't have any money except for our boss battle. Yeah, you're gonna get it anyway. Okay. And guess what? We get twice as much cash. Sweet. Okay. That's just one more person to date. And she possesses the wind element. I know our next destination. I'm the fearless leader here, Musa. But yeah, I mean, if it's here. Now, 
before you do that, you want to actually go up these stairs here to Kylene's room. And uh, let's see, where is it? It's about on the other side. Yeah, no, I can find it. Ah, there it is. Yes, this raises her intimacy level with you. Automatically, one level automatically. Alright, so we are off 